Hello, this is Bilal Siddiqui and you're watching Hobga Library Project. Uh, this is going to be a chapter analysis of uh, 5 minutes, of 10 minutes and 38 seconds by Elif Shafak. So, uh, previous in the previous chapter, which was a bonus chapter, we talked about the person named Sinan, who was a friend of Layla. So, in this chapter, there's a new character being introduced, which is a long-awaited son. So, the here is uh, Tarkan, or the person, or the boy, who is born to this family in Van after so many years of trying and trying and trying. So, uh, at this time, Layla is like seven years old, and this boy is born, so there is a lot going on uh, and when this when this boy is actually born. So, one of the major things that happens is that the, all the different traditions that uh, we did have a glimpse of them when Layla was born, but now they are like extreme, they are like all over the place. So, uh, there's all sorts of things going on for this child's profession to be decided. So, there are many different traditions here. So, one of the traditions is that they put the boy in the mid, the child in the mid, and then they put different types of instruments or items like cash and uh, scissors and um, stuff like that. So, and wh whatever the boy would come up to or whatever the boy would grab, that would determine his future profession. Another thing we see there here is it has to do with the umbilical cord of a child. When it is cut, it has to be thrown in the place where the child's uh, parents desire for the child to actually go for to work. So, uh, this time they are actually like throw it in a, I think in a government building so I can become a government bureaucrat later on in his life. So, lots of things that are going on uh, in concern with these traditions and bonds and uh, stuff like that. So, um, but as, a, as the story progresses, you will understand that there is something that happens with the boy and uh, everyone is like really, really uh, like sad because of that and it's quite a tragedy what happens. And, and so, the father takes a different approach. Um, you know, sometimes do people take this, this type of approach whenever a calamity befalls upon them. So we have, like, in the previous chapter discussed that when calamity befalls on the mother of Sinan, um, she reacted in her own way. And this time, uh, this person, Harun, who is the father, is reacting in his own way. And it's, it's, it's very interesting to understand that when people are befallen with calamity, they fall into different categories. Some actually back out and uh, try to regain their composure and regain what they did wrong and try to uh, do it right some actually just give up so this is the latter actually happens in this case and uh, he gives up and he actually becomes really pious to the point that i can call it extreme and he reserves a room for himself and, and it's quite it's quite sad that many people i i know in uh, in this life do this and it's not fiction it's it's, it's reality they actually do uh, become this rigid person after calamity befalls them even though god does not want you to become more and more hard when 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 and, and, and when a calamity befalls upon you and all our tribulation is put on your face rather you need to be strong and humble so what he does is that every single person who goes to this extreme point of view of actually forcing people down their throat their religion into them so it is exactly what happens and it's quite interesting that it happens uh, in many different places in many different settings and it's, it's bad it's wrong but it does happen so by this time uh, there's also another discussion going on in the family and that is concerning uh, this main character and her uh, you can say piousness or how much piety he has and what are the things that are need to be influenced so this, this needs to be understood but whenever you are going to force down religion upon some person there is going to be a backfire and you know in this particular in instance how much of the backfire it is and she actually like does everything wrong possible in um, minds uh, you, you can say understanding just because she was forced a certain thing to do and um, you need to understand this that whenever forceful opposition is coming towards parents rather in any form or in any way there is going to be repercussions and sometimes parents don't understand this but they need to uh, acknowledge this fact that whenever they are going to put pressure upon a certain thing there is going to be a backlash and that backlash is going to be bad and especially if that backlash comes later on in the life of a child it is going to completely destroy them so i have seen a lot of things uh, developing people just because of the grudges they held uh, when they were small and when they were young. This is the number one thing that parents need to understand. So this is this is going to be the analysis of this uh, particular chapter uh, that 
these are the things that I think that must be noted down when whenever you're reading this chapter. Other than that, uh, the sad tragedy about the book is sad, but it just happens and not make me cry as such. But it was sad as to what happened. But uh, at the end of the chapter, you ha- actually can get a real feeling, a good feeling, because Lala has actually found a friend, and uh, she actually resides in this person and. It's really a good thing that she uh, does have a friend to share all the things with, but uh, I, I don't think so that things are going to go well later on the, in the chapters because uh, from this chapter I am realizing that there is going to be some type of misunderstanding that is going to develop uh, between these characters. So uh, I'm hoping not much bad happens, but I, I in, inside of me I know that something bad is going to happen because that is going to shape the life of Leila, which uh, is her future, right? So that was it. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, I'm hoping to make more videos in the upcoming days. So stay tuned for that and uh, uh, share your comments with me share your views with me share your analysis what you guys think about uh, this particular book and this particular chapter and uh, you can share that in the comments down below Uh, i hope you like the video thank you for watching Uh, goodbye